What? Drop the car off. At hey the guys, time. we're back for another Nerd Rage Wednesday, Whiskey Wednesday. Hello. Hello. We're back. We're in a different location. This All right. And, oh, um, forgot my. Oh yeah, don't forget your whiskey. That's a. That's got my whiskey. I'm very part. excited. I have the rolling chair. Yes. <laughs> Um, so pumped about the rolling chair. So chairs. today we are drinking a apple cider, uh, old fashioned, that we put together. That's going to be up on our YouTube channel. It so. has whiskey in it. It Obviously. has <laughs> <laughs> the most important ingredient of all. Um, and it also has a uh, apple cider simple syrup, which is we made it with apple cider concentrate and brown sugar. But you can mm -hmm. also make it with regular mm -hmm. apple cider. Um, uh, so yeah, cheers anyway, to that. Cheers, before we ladies. get All nerd raged out. Real quick, you are allowed to cross behind us. Yes, yeah. you're not trapped in the kitchen. We have a husband here. My husband is here. in the kitchen, and um, he came in right as we started. And I'm worried he's concerned he's not he's trapped. He's locked in, there. in the kitchen. Honestly, yeah, where you belong. All I'm no, no. concerned about is getting some water. It's so hot out that I haven't even been considering you. Guys. Okay. Well, there you have well, it. Well, thanks. Thanks, guys. Um, all right. So last week we started with our all our new WB shows mm -hmm. and whatnot, and I mean all of our shows coming back. And uh, we have one thing that we need to nerd rage about because I also felt this way. Black cat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, by taping, also uh, taping at my house, we we have a chema. This is a chema. Oh, um, um, oh, she doesn't give any. She gives no fucks. Yeah. She's gonna do whatever she wants. Uh, perfect. <laughs> she gives zero fucks. Okay. Uh, anyway, continue. Yes, <laughs> that was perfectly timed. We're very in the Halloweeny spirit, obviously. <laughs> um, so, what's bothered me about Discovery this week, uh, and also a lot of the shows that are happening right now, is that they're going too dark and don't like any of the good guys or even the bad guys of stuff. So, like. Yep, I feel like everything is going to go downhill. I am finding that as well with several shows that I'm watching where, honestly, I just don't care. I don't care about Arrow. I just don't. <laughs> and I I do care about Flash, I'm going to be honest. Because they, he's adorable and sweet, even adorable. though Barry out. Uh, and he's only had a beard. And I was like, that's pretty I hot. Have what? No. Oh, I haven't. Oh, I haven't. Oh, I hate the beard. Oh, no, I hate no. it. I haven't Look watched it. The Flash in a while. I don't, I don't like beards. I haven't watched I The Flash in a while. But I, Actually, that one... You know, they made, it, they're, it's coming back to, like, what it was. And so, I know. Okay, but. All I know is that I have been known to, while watching Flash, despite who is around, if you're no one in the house or anything, just be sitting on my couch yelling, Barry Allen, why are you a jum jum? <laughs> Barry Allen, no! Barry Allen, why are he you is, a jum jum? He's quite a dum dum. Why are you the poster child for poor choices? The one thing that I don't like, though, is when they all do the crossovers. And I get it that the network is trying to get you to watch Everything. Every, everything that's on there, but I don't like Legends of Tomorrow. And when they cross over with Legends of Tomorrow, I'm just like, oh, I'm out. And you have to watch all of them in order to like get the storyline, mm -hmm. and that drives me absolutely crazy. It's like let's just well, not I mean, that, do crossovers. That is Can the point not... is to get everybody to to watch everything else. Yeah. But like, I just it just it turns me off. Yeah. yeah, it turns me off. I don't know. I don't know if I anybody just, else feels that I way. Just but... have, like, my sweet, but it's, my sweet teen crush on Sarah Lance. Well, <laughs> well her well, character it, I liked a lot more in Arrow. Oh, I didn't watch it on Arrow. Well, so, yeah. Because Arrow, you have to fast forward through all the yeah, flashbacks, true. and that's just annoying. Can you bring so, it up so we can read all the comments? Yes. I'm trying to. Oh, no, no, I was going to say on your phone. Oh, on my phone? Yeah. Yes. But um, my computer is trying to tell me that our video has ended, and we're having issues. Nope. Guys, has our... Our video ended. I don't think it has. I don't feel like no, it has. I think my internet has ended. <laughs> it ended. No more internet for you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay perfect. Like nothing's working on my computer. That's why. Yeah, that's we're all. still up. So okay. I um, also would like to talk about uh, crossovers in comics that I can't stand that drive me absolutely bonkers. Which you know started with the whole I feel like what Archie crossed over with Predator at some point and I was like what the hell is this? Uh, I mean it didn't it's start just, with that. It's been no, I mean but they did. No, they it had didn't a lot start of the, with that. They had the like afterlife it ended with Archie with that. stuff. Yeah, that's right. Like, <laughs> that, that was the line. They had the afterlife with Not Archie. Line be and here like, and no further. Well, I mean, it started with Alien vs. Predator, which you said. Yes, I also do not like Alien vs. Predator because I don't like Alien and I do like Predator. I don't want to watch the Alien movies. I've never been a fan of the Alien movies. I know it's blasphemy. What is happening? I feel like I don't know you. I just... I've never seen the Alien movies. Yeah, they, it scared the shit yeah, out of me. Yeah, see, that guy was pissed. You hear that? It scared the shit out of me. <laughs> and Predator was like an amazing Arnold Schwarzenegger movie that I absolutely loved, and they didn't need to do the whole thing with the aliens. That's all I gotta say about that. 
Hmm. But interesting. Um, anyway, well, so. I mean, I liked the crossovers like back in the day because I was such a Marvel girl and I only read um, X Men, and so I kind of liked the little ones that would happen. But then it just got so aggressive by the end of the '90s that I was like, I can't. I mean, with who, what? I just it's too many. All, yeah, all the crossovers were happening. Now the the thing that got me on this was actually um, the new uh, Harley and Ivy meet Betty and Veronica, um, and that I just I mean not that I mean and those are all fine characters, but like I don't but, but like why why and I feel like in a way it's publishers' way of like exploiting the fan fiction community in its own bizarre way. In that, like, like the, these are all just, like, crossovers that people have, like, written about or, like, yeah. putting their characters together is a thing that they've There's done for years. There's websites for this. Like, like. there are websites for this. There's a huge, like, really big community for this. And for people, and I feel like the publishers are just trying to, like, capitalize on, like, the fucking, like, mashup market when you walk down Artist Isle and there's all these, like, pinups and mashups. And, like, without any super huge sense of, like, needing them to be... Good. I well, think yeah, they're trying like, to capitalize on both audiences yeah. and bring them together. Well, and, and also they're just trying yeah. to capitalize on the audiences, but not in a way that, way. like, the, the content, like, if, if the stories were then also, like, really, really great and, like, I, I'd and be like, in. okay, cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I feel like, like so many sense. times they're just skimming the surface of the characters to just get you to buy it. Well, and also yes. they're, they're capitalizing on nerds' need to uh, be completionist. Yeah. Because I know I can't just start in the middle of something. I have mm-hmm. to go back to the beginning mm-hmm. and buy, like, the whole anthology and, like, read the whole thing and then, like, read the crossover. Yes. Yeah. So. And then they count on you continuing after that because, uh, you know, you want to see what happens this way. You want to see what happens no, that yeah. way. You know, fall in love with characters. Care- Character, supposedly. I mean, and it's just like to me, it's like a cash grab, and I don't like, which is fine. Like honestly, that's fine. Like if you could do that, more power to you. It, but uh, yeah. I just feel a little ripped off. Well, sometimes I feel like the whole industry is kind of ripping off the, the nerd community, and they found right. out that Cat's they could. Back. Cat's coming Cat's back. Coming back. <laughs> you're gonna sit right in front of it, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just gonna, just gonna okay. sit right in the corner. Like, like she's right. like mostly oh, out of frame. You. You're out of frame. Good job. She's mostly out of frame. Totally. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> she just really wants to be a part of this. Um, she just wants attention. Well, and it's it's frustrating in the nerd community because it's it's great that we have so many comic books, we have so many books, we have so mm-hmm. many um, movies coming out. But it's because they know that they can make money off of us. Yeah. So it's like a catch twenty two for us because we're like, yay, more content, boo, taking advantage of us. Mm-hmm. Like you- exactly. I agree. Well, and also, like, there's a lot of content that's in the power of people that don't that aren't fans of whatever that whatever it is right mm-hmm. so you have like complete flops like just because it's not on the top of my head because i guess dragon ball z is always on the top of my head but dragon ball evolution like that was so incredibly painful because the people making it weren't fans and they were just like oh it's a cash grab because there's so many dragon ball z fans mm-hmm. and we see that all the time in movies tv shows i mean a little less now but still pretty aggressive mm-hmm. yeah yeah well and i feel that way about aliens and predators because I'm yeah. like, don't like aliens. Love Predator. It's don't so like interesting because, like, I love both, and I'd seen the movie before reading the comics, Which and obviously, obviously that's why it was successful. Yeah, the way is because everyone loves both except for me. <laughs> except for me. I've like, never those... seen either. I don't know what is happening. Oh, I haven't seen most things, guys. Let's be real. <laughs> Let's just be real. I, like, I don't most, know. It's like one of my all-time most favorite things movies. people really name that they're like, everybody's seen it. It's a classic. I'm like, I will. 100% watch did, Predator whenever it's on. How did you feel about the Adrian Brody one, the Predator? Did not like it. it was, <laughs> did not like it. Was like it. Kind Adrian of fun, Brody a little and bit. Topher Grace. Oh, and what? And then um, Lawrence Fishburne <laughs> that was like hyping on the planet forever. And you're like, was you're there like, cake what? and ham on yes. this planet? Because what have you been eating to eat that very yes. uh, round figure of yours, sir? <laughs> <laughs> No fat shaming. No, but I'm just I'm just saying that he was supposed to be on the planet forever, and like he could he could have covered up with some more like robes yeah. or something. But he like could have exercised had, like, a little a, before the movie came out. But he out. had like yeah. this tight T-shirt on that I felt like it was from like the Saturday Night Live skip of the uh, the cowbell when like the shirt is just a little too small and it's like right yes. up. Like I felt like that's what we had from Lawrence Fishburne. Uh, yes. Obviously, now oh, my but, internet's working. Yeah, well, 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 fine then. Sorry. Anyway. 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 So. Sorry, a little off topic, but uh. But yeah, so <laughs> that all kind of like comes together with the crossovers, and we're tired of stuff getting too dark, and the that we just don't like the main characters. Because mm-hmm. like we're talking about Supergirl, which you know, watch it. It was adorable, and I love, yes. love. Theory. But now she's 
gone like she looks like they're going for like a dark yeah turn they, they, her, they, and they just straight like, up made an announcement about that, that yeah, yeah, yeah that's what not they into were doing. that not into it no you know and I and I also feel like this even goes outside of like nerddom like okay so I like scandal or I used to like scandal mm-hmm. and then Olivia Pope just became a bitch and now she's like an unlikable person and I'm just like why am I I'm not even gonna watch this last season because she's a bitch and she used to be awesome. She used to be like this empowered woman who mm-hmm. fixed shit in Washington. And you were like, yes, she's amazing. And the president <laughs> loves her. Oh my God, are they going to get together, aren't they? And then like, now all of a sudden she's a bitch. I'm like, nobody should want to date this woman. Yeah. Nobody. She is awful and horrible. I don't want to watch it anymore. It's, I well, feel like they, they I mean, do and that that's, to that's the good a characters. Problem. And they also make the, they're trying to make the bad guys like too likable. So like, it just brings everything to this kind of shitty medium. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like, where they, they, they like want the bad guys bad. You need to either pick anti, you need to either just like state that like it's an anti-hero and that's fine. Yeah. But like, that I mean, and you know, I get, later on I get, you're going to come into the fold and I, be one of the heroes after a while. You know that's happening, but like. Wait, like, I get. Choose a side. Wanting yeah. to like make characters humans. Like, I understand that, like, a big criticism of comics and, like, superheroes in general is, like, that everything is very black and white and people aren't real people because, like, nobody's really like that. But, like, at the same time, you can make a person be a real person without also having to have them have, like, a dark secret. Like, yes, you can be a real person just because you haven't done your fucking laundry in three weeks. Like, it's fine. Like, I don't know, like, you know, like, real people, like, have flaws, but they're not all, like, fucking mortal foils. Like, (laughs) I just, I don't, I don't know. And and also, also, I will, with the Olivia Pope thing, I think that gets done to women in particular a lot in that, like, they write them as bitches. They yeah, think the same thing as being a strong female yeah, character. Which just... is a term I fucking hate and got in a fight with a dude at LA Comic Con last year about. Um, and... <laughs> like, a literal fight with, like... <laughs> while I was, watch- while I was wearing my Ask Me About My Feminist Agenda shirt, um, so that's, and then I walked backwards, I told you the other day, and then I walked backwards into a garbage can, so that was an encapsulation of Aww. me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fought with a dude about feminism and then walked into a garbage can. Um, like a literal garbage can. Um, <laughs> not like a garbage can person. Person. Well, I mean, at least it wasn't on fire. Yeah, it was not on fire. Um, <laughs> but I, was, I was in the LA Convention Center, so everything was really mm. metaphorically on fire. Um, <laughs> God. What, but no, but like that's what they do to women, like especially a woman who is like strong and badass in the first cast. Then people are like, oh no, people they'll do things and be like, oh, people are finding her intimidating, or they're or or people think that people are turned off by her because she's like too good at her job or whatever. Like yeah. nobody would ever say that about a dude. Yeah, that's yeah, it's more of a positive. I yep. mean, like to uh, like I think we said this last time, but the whole like Killer Frost thing that whenever Caitlyn gets her powers, she goes evil. I'm sorry, what? So only if you're a speedster she still does and that, a dude. Way. Yeah, she still does it. Although ah! she did become nicer and like join. You yeah, know, but back still, up with but everyone. like, can't she just have powers and be good like everybody else? Yeah. No, hers. Hers do something to her brain. Yeah, they, they like, like they kind of they tried to like pass that <laughs> off at one point that were like her powers change the chemicals in her brain with that woman brain's chemical stuff. Yeah, like, what? <laughs> well, no, because you can't have you know you can't have the trope of the ice queen with and have her be a nice human. Mm-hmm. Mm, True. Don't like it. Yeah, True. it's bad. But kind of going back to what you said of like making all the characters more human, it's kind of annoying because one of the things that's great about the comic book universe is that you have that great divide of good versus evil and that's what draws you to it, right? Yeah, right. But I mean like villains sure. are just as important as heroes. So Heroes who, only as good as their villains. Yeah, exactly. So who are your guys' favorite, like first favorite villain? Oh man. I can I can tell you mine. Go ahead, because now I'm gonna have to think. It was Simon Phoenix in Demolition Man, (laughs) because he was so deliciously evil, and he just loved being evil. He was like, you know what? I'm just evil. I'm like, yeah, you go, but I mean, go stop him because he's bad. But that's what I knew. Mine was in TV. It was Sylar from Heroes. Okay, so that's that's more recent. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. That was that he was so delightfully evil. I loved him. <laughs> I loved him, and he played it so well. It was just like one of those things where it was just like, oh, I hope he's on this episode because he's amazing, and he would just screw things up for everyone, but like in a really amazing way. Mm-hmm. I really liked him. I, don't know. I think my favorite like 
bad guy actually does fall in the middle, and that I'm just like super trash for the Red Hood. <laughs> super trash. For like the Red super Hood. trash I for Jason Todd. When you're a fan of something, you're like, I am super. I'm trash. super trash for Jason Todd, guys. Uh, <laughs> just FYI. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, and let, let us know what your guys' favorite uh, villain. What your first favorite villain was? First favorite villain. I mean, he wasn't like, like the first, list. The list can, can go like, on but. chronologically. He didn't lose like, virginity to the yeah, head. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. You lose your now I'm just gonna get You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 All right, too much. Too far. Right, what too far? Too far. I don't right. know. <laughs> I, you know what? I did straight up say to a coworker. We once we were talking. They were like, "Oh, I thought you really liked Dick Grayson." I was like, "Look." Dick Grayson is the like quarterback on the football field that you like admired for admire from under the bleachers while you're making out with Jason Todd over there. <laughs> like <laughs> That's the difference. That's I love that analogy. very eighties like uh, <laughs> rom com. Is these days yeah. still because do, they're that? Both teens. do they make out under the bleachers? I don't because know. In spirit they they're both like sex. <laughs> I don't know. Because in spirit they're both teens. They're yes. both just dumb teen boys. Mm-hmm. I don't care yes. how old they make them, they're still dumb teen boys somehow. True. <laughs> I love it. There you go. So on theme with our uh, fancy drinks, uh, we have more videos to come of um, these lovely ladies and yes. their recipes for halloween drinks. Mm-hmm. And on that Halloween theme, um, there's a few people here that don't like pumpkin spice. There's a few people here who don't like candy corns. That's also true. We're- I'm the middle of the Venn diagram, guys! <laughs> I just, I honestly wanted, I, I, we both, we all forgot to bring candy corn because I wanted to eat it on screen That's for the first I, time in years. And I she's just like, nope. I won't. She was like, oh, she should have brought it. I and, then won't we, and I was like, I shan't. The whole bag for both of you. I, I won't. Because can't um, make nom, 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 And the pumpkin ones, oh, nom, 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 nom. I feel they're like just as a kid, different shape. the they're pumpkin, they're still no, 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 no. They taste no. different. They totally they do. Different. I remember as a kid, remembering <laughs> they taste different. Because the little white part on the candy corn is gross. But the pumpkins don't have any of the white part. They're all the same flavor, aren't they? <laughs> I don't all know. All three layers? They're I the same know. flayer. They're, 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 they're just know. fucking sugar. Uh-uh. I don't remember. I don't remember. Orange and yellow are pretty similar, but they're softer. Okay. Softer. I think next week we're going to have to do this. White is I think smaller. next week I we're going to have to get. No interrupted. It, ah, ah. it should resume shortly. Okay. <laughs> don't call me while we're live and streaming. We're back. And we're back. <laughs> Video interrupted. Okay. Um, Video interrupted. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Pumpkin spice, though. I love, I love it. I'm sorry. I can't stand it. I love it. I, I, I don't do, it. like, it's the super sweet scent. coffees. It's fine to say, and I don't, I don't dislike pumpkin stuff. I mean, we're, we're both from New England. This is where we fucking live, I don't dislike man. pumpkin stuff. Yeah. I just Give like me a pumpkin, pumpkin beer, man, any yes, day. I will drink a pumpkin beer. I will eat um, a pumpkin pie. I don't I like pumpkin, pumpkin spice lattes. I don't like pumpkin in my coffee. But you like other flavored coffees, though, right? Yes. Like caramel and vanilla yes. and mocha and all that. Just don't like pumpkin. Just not pumpkin. And then to, mm. to prove this the theory, great pumpkin divide. I actually bought apple cider and pumpkin spice cider. She felt the need to prove I this did. theory. And I was like, oh, because it sounds delicious and everybody loves it. And I tried both, absolutely adored the apple one, tried the pumpkin, and I was like, oh, this is disgusting. And it's still half half of it sitting in my mm. fridge now for two weeks. So, yeah, yeah I just like, like it. Yo, give that to me. Uh, well, you know what? Bring that to my house. Bring that alcohol. to my face. I mean, to be fair, Sparkling. I don't know... Ooh, it's sparkling now. Ooh. Yeah, she's like, Ooh, actually. I mean, throw some rum or whiskey in there. I know yeah. about it, but like, yeah, I usually don't drink juices. But like the coffees, I like because I get from like Trader Joe's. They have the the pumpkin spice coffee, and I'll mm-hmm. make my coffee like that at home because yeah, I don't mm. like super sweet stuff. But I'm not gonna make it. I feel like we're talking heresy right here with the with the pumpkin spice <laughs> stuff though, because literally everyone like goes nuts over that stuff at Starbucks. Yeah. You know, and it's just. I don't know, I have to go check it out. I should have gotten, gotten, gotten a here, sun. pumpkin spice. Like, mm. should have gotten a sun. They just opened a new Starbucks. Like, I can literally oh, they see did? it from my apartment. Um, but it's oh, good. Else, right? It's like the Starbucks, like, R, like the resort, like the fancy one. I don't know. What? All I know is that we already have a Do blue they bottle. Serve here's, booze? here's 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 Beth's uh, grumpy grumpy neighborhood uh, grumpy neighborhood complaint for a second. We already have a blue bottle coffee and a coffee bean and tea leaf within the same like two block radius. Why did we need a Starbucks? I don't know. America. Also, also <laughs> because I've had to get woken up at six in six in the morning Monday through Saturday for the past six fucking months while they've been doing this construction. Like they're jackhammering in my living room. <laughs> I'm just mad about it, guys. Oh, you grumpy guys. I just want to sleep. I don't enjoy mornings. I don't enjoy any period before 11 a.m. I, I don't enjoy a lot I'm of periods after 11 a.m., but... 
but I'm that's like, fine. My day is starting at like 7.30. Like literally I got <sighs> your message to come over here at 12.30 and I was like, fuck, I have to put pants on. Get dressed. Well, you don't have to put pants on, but it'd be nice. I had to like get dressed and like get up. And, ugh. <laughs> I love it's deteriorated just into like general just rage. General just rage about everything. I have yeah. I just have a lot of rage. It's still a hundred degrees here. Give us a break. Yeah, it's really warm. That's... It's like really warm in LA right now. Yeah, it's kind of gross. I feel like when I lift up my arms, yeah, like, I'm like, like sweating. Arms yeah, left on the table. I'd already unhooked the air conditioner in here because I thought like, hey, we're done. It's October. Oh no. No, never, yeah, not no. until like December. Not until December yeah. Even then, though, remember we had some Christmases that were like eighty degrees. Yep. Oh yeah. Anyways, nerd stuff. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so that runs out big. Yeah, right. Um, so I think we're ready for our nerd rave, right? Yeah, did we go? It? Did we go through? It was the um, Black Panther trailer. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. oh, oh yes. it was so compared to last good. week when we talked about all these trailers that were like give away too gave much. Gave away too much mm-hmm. and sucked. The new Mutants trailer and the Black Panther trailer were both like mom yes. so good. Absolutely, so good. we all watched it together, and all of us were. We watched like the Black Panther trailer together. Yeah, me and just watching. I it. watched earlier. And yes. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was, it was great. Good. It was good. It was perfect. I saw a really good. I saw a really good dumb dad. I'm like mad that I like this. Um, I saw a really good dumb dad joke about it, and it said like, "Oh, the only two white people on the Black Panther poster are Gollum, are Gollum and Bilbo," and then it said that they're the Tolkien white guys. Yeah, the Tolkien <laughs> white guys. Yeah, I've seen a few posts about that. The Tolkien white guys. Well, well played, internet. Yeah, well played. Sometimes the internet delivers. Yeah. Most that of the time, sweet nerd crossover. It doesn't. Most of the time, it does <laughs> not. <laughs> Most of the time, it very doesn't. Mm. It very doesn't. Yeah. I love it when my editor girls start. <laughs> Harry doesn't. Uh, Whatever. Don't someone's judge me. promising to bring your banjo back this weekend. Oh, just so that's you know, Adam. Which hey, is Adam. Really random, by the way. I don't know. Probably if it's could have more, texted her that. Yeah, but I, I like it. I'm more not even seeing now. the comments for some reason. They're just like not I showing up on my. Page. No, that you had a oh, banjo. There we go. Yeah, well, it's Brandon's. Oh. Oh, okay. So we also have a mandolin. Oh, so we could have just texted Brandon. We have the That's cool. Thanks, thanks cool. for watching. Yeah, thanks. But hi, Adam. Mm-hmm. Um, you know Adam. Oh, yeah. What's up, Adam? <laughs> oh, I've really seen like Adam you. at your house. Yes. What up? <laughs> oh, it's Adam Murray. Yeah. Where's my banjo, Adam? Jeez, you just said Adam. I didn't realize Adam. So. <laughs> um, that's hilarious. Now we can be held accountable. Wait. Why were you... What were you doing with a banjo? He used it for a cosplay thing. What were you cosplayers as, Adam? And when? I don't. I think at San Diego he used the banjo. I, don't I know, do not remember. We have, we have a really shitty banjo that we've used as like a prop before too. It's not. It's not good. As it's long as it wasn't banjo. like Deliverance. I was just gonna say that <laughs> Deliverance cosplay. That would be that. actually a really scary <laughs> Halloween costume. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, for my own. I don't know. <laughs> Speaking of, I like the way you say that when you're drinking. Yeah, like, oh, bird in my yeah, bird oh uh, his girlfriend was Fuzzy Lumpkins at San Diego. Oh, super cute. Mm, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. You Do you guys know what you're being for Halloween? Yes. Oh, yes. Last I heard you didn't. Oh, yep. Yeah, so what yeah. are you. So yep. For actual Halloween or this coming mm-hmm. weekend? This coming weekend. I'm not doing more, I'm not doing more than one. I have one um, costume to show me everywhere. I do. I do. Over $200 on this shit. Good God, Lemon. All right, let's hear it. What is this? Well, we are, um, <laughs> Marcus and I are Jack and Wendy Torrance from The Shining. Okay. Well done. So Marcus well done. has his face through a, a door with an axe, <laughs> and then I'm wearing a bathrobe and I'm screaming with a knife. <laughs> well is, done. That is us. That's very funny. Yes. Yeah, what you got? Uh, I have like a, I mean, I already had like a, one of the red, like her universe Star-Lord jackets. Just that and some black All right. and cool, 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 cool. Um, I put in a lot of effort, guys. Well done. So well done. Uh, we already last... talked about how much I care about Halloween. <laughs> last weekend for the, because I didn't buy any new costumes because I, I just was so out of it this this month. Um, but so for the uh, hyper RPG party, well, it wasn't technically hyper. It was a, a um, one of the guys' houses. I was a, a Star Trek. Um, cocktail waitress from 10 forward because <laughs> I had a, I had a Star Wars dress but I was like I don't want to just do the normal and I still had like my little apron and my um tray mm-hmm. and I just did like a crazy alien face painting in my fangs yeah I don't know nice um, I saw so, that yeah. photo. so for this weekend I'm gonna probably do a um Dia de Muerto 
type like face painting and like my my pretty red dress and do my hair hair all crazy. Get some flowers in there. Get some flowers in there. That's nice. Yeah, little right. cl classy, classy Halloween stuff. I will not be classy. I will be ugly and screaming <laughs> with a knife <laughs> in a bathrobe. <laughs> Chris, you shared our video, sh our timeline. Oh, did I? Yes. Uh, I was in a rush. <laughs> I was panicking. I was like, shit, share, share. That's, that's what happens oh. when we start the drinks before we start the live feed. Like, it works out well when we start drinking as soon as the live feed starts. I didn't want to be on my phone when the thing started. So, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Anyway, we're just oh, going to. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, uh, it's all happening. It's all happening. It's in my coffee now. Oh, that'll be uh, well, an apple. It's gonna be very good. Coffee? Yeah, because I didn't have regular milk, so I got almond milk in here too right now. Yeah. And brown sugar. I use brown sugar in my coffee. It's gonna mm. be great. Do it. All right, guys. All right, so um, us, comment below uh, on all Ooh. the subjects that we talked about and what you want to talk about next week. Make uh, sure you watch our videos of us making yeah, we'll three these. different wonderful three different, uh, alcoholic fall mm, drinks. Yes. Halloween cocktails. Yes. That's what we're gonna be using them for. Mm -hmm. yeah, I love that you're like, I'm not into Halloween, but drinking. Yes. I'm into, okay. I, as I said, okay. I'm into. <laughs> Okay. And ten minutes later. Yeah, right. No, no, no. I just I I, I posted that this online that I'm into a good I'm into a good prompt. Like I don't care about Halloween so much, but if you're like I mean similar to like how we do like themed parties, I'm like yeah. if you give me a good theme, man. Like I'm into a really good prompt, and Halloween is a good prompt if you want me to like make a themed drink or like mm -hmm. come up with like a dumb themed like outfit. Like I'm great with that. Okay. I may not care about now the holiday, know. but I like a good fashion and or food prompt. I like Fair it. enough. Good. I made red, white, and blue whoopie pies for like uh, Memorial Day one year. Like I'm very, I'm very into like a good food prompt or fashion prompt. She's just letting us know this now. Yeah, well, I know, right? Literally, like a year later. I. <laughs> you saw. Right. I mean, every time we made something today, you're like, "Why do you have all this shit in your kitchen?" I'm like, "Oh man, guys, you don't even know." <laughs> all right. All right, well, guys. Nice. Happy Halloween. We'll see Happy you next food. week yep. at three o'clock. At three o'clock. Mm -hmm. Same bad time. Yes. Same bad channel. Weeping. Well, no, different bad time. Three. Whatever. What it usually is. You know uh, what I'm saying. Uh, why is it not? I don't know how to make it stop. <laughs>